Hi, my name is Mike. This is part two of the escape. In this part, I want to show that there's flaws for those who believe that there is a gathering or rapture or escape before the first seal. Well, firstly, in Revelation 6, as I read before, the gathering occurs only at seal 6. I'll read Revelation 6, 12 to 13, first of all. Revelation 6, 12 to 13. And I beheld when he opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sack, uh, sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood. And the stars of heaven fell onto the earth, even the fig tree cast on timely figs, when she was shaken of a mighty wind, which matches exactly uh, Matthew 24, 29 to 31. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give a light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from the one end of heaven to the other. There is no mention in scripture of the gathering before this event anywhere in scripture. Remember the elect are the first fruits. James 1.18 He chose to give birth through the word of truth that we might be a kind of first fruits of all he created. Jesus being the very first of the first fruits. 1 Corinthians 15.20 But in fact Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. So Jesus was the first to be raised up, then will be the elect after that, and those who died in Christ. This is at uh, 1 Thessalonians 4, 13 to 18, which I'll pull up. Um, Brothers and sisters, we do not want you to be uninformed about those who sleep in death, so that you do not grieve like the rest of mankind who have no hope. For we believe that Jesus died and rose again. And so we believe that God will bring with Jesus those who have fallen asleep in him. According to the Lord's word, we tell you that we who are still alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will certainly not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a loud command, with the voice of an archangel and with a trumpet call of God. And the dead in Christ will rise first. After that, we who are still alive and are left will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so we will be with the Lord forever. Therefore, encourage one another with these words. This verse matches Matthew 24, 29 to 31, and Revelation chapter 6, the sixth seal. Notice it states in 1 Thessalonians 4, verse 17, still alive and left, as seal 5 is persecution, and many will be killed or martyred, as it states in seal 5. All scripture must flow and connect with other scriptures. Now to all those who believe they will avoid tribulation, as, that, as that's what we're in now, as seals 1 to 4 are open now. Check out my previous videos about that. If believers went up before the seal 1, then they would be in trouble, as they, as one... It, it doesn't line up with Scripture. Revelation uh, 7. Uh, sorry, Revelation 12, 7 to 9. I'll read that here. Hold on. Revelation uh, 12, 7 to 9. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought and his angels, and prevailed not. Neither was their place found any more in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out, the old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceived the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Um, Satan only falls at seal six, stars fall. So that would mean, if you were gathered at seal one, you would be in the middle of a war in heaven and would have to fight. Satan's only falls at seal six. 
Revelation 12.4 Its tail swept a third of the stars out of the sky and flung them to the earth. The dragon stood in front of the woman who was about to give birth. Showing birth or gathering hasn't happened yet. I'll do another part. God bless. Bye-bye.